Will the real Nick Cinnamon Roll please stand up? After years of public outcries on social media, has Nix finally responded to the brown skin people's plea to please return the beloved intense butter gloss shade in cinnamon roll? Or have we again been lied to? The Nix intense butter gloss in cinnamon roll was a deep, cool tone, very cool tone, brown with a slight tinge of gray and a little bit of mauvey undertones. This shade, while looking a little close to purple on lighter skin tones, made the perfect nude for many deeper skin tones. It had that very unique undertone. It had a very cool, unique undertone that is still to this day really, really hard to find. Which is why people were very upset and were pleading with NYX to please return this shade. In 2019, they came out with the quote unquote return, which was not at all close to the original shade. And I just stopped by Target today and I saw what I think is actually the butter gloss that everyone has been hoping for. Let's see. Not only has NYX claimed to return the beloved cinnamon roll shade, they've also came out with several other new nude shades in their butter gloss collection. I have them all and I will be swatching them today. In addition to letting you know, has NYX cinnamon roll actually returned? Or is that another lie, like that other shade? Stay tuned and keep watching. Around 2017, 2018, I started getting really into makeup. I joined a Facebook group and everyone who was of color just could not stop talking about this NYX cinnamon roll gloss. So I show up at NYX, I live near one by my mall, and I didn't like the color, I didn't pick it up. But again, I kept hearing about it, kept hearing about it, I got peer pressured, so you know what? I went back to NYX and I bought two. Kept them in my collection, never opened them, never touched them or anything. Until I started seeing um, influencers and different uh, people on social media wearing the shade and I thought, oh my God, this is actually a pretty nice shade. It's a cool tone brown. It has this mauvey grayness to it, but it's not ashy on deeper skin. So here I am with some better lighting. Uh, so. Here is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss and Cinnamon Roll. This is the shade that everyone is clamoring, has been clamoring for. And I think the reason why it's so beloved is because it's a cool tone brown that has a little bit gray, that has a little bit of mauviness, but works on deeper skin tones. Uh, it doesn't look ashy, even though it has that cool tone and that gray. So it makes it very unique in the world of lip glosses because usually with lip glosses, they, they tend, brown lip glosses tend to be very warm tone. They tend to have red in them. They tend to have, you know, a little very deep, deep 90 cent, 90 central brown, dark brown. This is just a straight up brown, not too deep. So it does pass as a nude and it has that coolness to it that I think is really missing um, in, in makeup. So this is the um, OG on the cinnamon roll. Uh, so back to the story. Um, so history is that I got the shade, I had the shades, and then they got discontinued. So we learned that these shades got discontinued and it was very heartbreaking. We couldn't, couldn't uh, I feel like a lot of people were able to snatch the last few shades up um, from Walmart or Target or, or whatever, but the shades were just kind of gone um, at some point. So. It sucked. But then in 2019, NYX Cosmetics made a post on Twitter swiping a shade and saying cinnamon roll is back. Which, yeah. So in 2019, they claimed that NYX cinnamon roll was back. People clamored to buy it as they were expected to. And it was this shade over here. As you can see, these two shades are nothing similar. And people were extremely disappointed. I'll swatch it next to you just so you can see exactly how off it was. As you can see, this is like a this is a very pretty shade, but it's a very uh, pink mauvey shade, or it's it's pink. It's essentially a pink purple shade, and people were pissed. 
Um, if you want to see more details about how pissed they were, you should check out Tiffany Violet's video. Uh, Tiffany Violet, I'll link it in my description box, but Tiffany Violet is probably the person that put me onto Nick Cinnamon Roll, and I consider her kind of the Cinnamon Roll uh, czar. <laughs> and she really spoke in that video about how we were duped. Nick called this lip gloss Cinnamon Roll. It looked nothing like the Cinnamon Roll that we love. So people were very upset about this. And we felt like we were just scammed and we felt like we were being deceived. And it was a whole mess. Um, if you want to get more details, I definitely recommend that you look at uh, Tiffany Violet's uh, pay, um, video. Also, look on her, um, her Instagram page. If you go to the hashtag Nick's Cinnamon Roll, um, she's usually at the top of the post. And she has pictures, pictures of her with the shade Cinnamon Roll. And you can see how beautiful that shade is. Um, so, this is the fake one. This is the one they lied to us about. And this is the OG. And before I get into if the actual uh, return cinnamon roll is authentic, I did want to go over the other uh, new glosses that came out in that NYX collection. Uh, I stopped by Target this afternoon on a whim. And I went over to the beauty section and I noticed a display with a whole bunch of different um, butter glosses and it looks like NYX has not only returned or claimed to have returned a uh, cinnamon roll looks like they've also come out with um, some other glosses um, some other new glosses which are definitely appearing to be brown brown person friendly or people call people person of color friendly so before I get into if NYX uh, before I get into the truth uh, I want to just go ahead and swatch um, the new shades as well so I'll swatch the new shades really quickly and then I will come back and show you if this so-called reformulated NYX cinnamon roll is actually the real deal. The first new shade I have here is um, Butterscotch and this is the swatch for Butterscotch. As you can see it's a very um, peachy shade. The next shade I have here is Spiked Toffee. And this one like, seems to be kind of a rose-ish nude, like a nude with kind of some rose undertones. Now I have Fudge Me. And this seems to be a tan brown. It's the third shade. This is the shade Caramel. Now this is a nice caramel um, tan shade. It has that like nice warmth to it. Uh, it makes me think of um, a Fenty um, cream, uh, uh, the Fenty uh, gloss bond cream shade. Now we have brownie drip, and brownie drip seems to be just a very um. It's kind of like a a warm uh, rose shade. It's rose, but it has more warmth to it. Now this is Lava Cake, which is a dark chocolate brown. Uh, so here are the swatches over here. Very nice nudes. Um, now we have Sugar High, which is a kind of a pinky, pinky peachy nude. Um, this one reminds me of Dres Leches from the um, Intense Butter Gloss uh, line. It looks like it's a dupe. All right, so I lied. I'm before I show you um, the actual swatches with the new um, with the new cinnamon, cinnamon roll versus OG. I want to show you um, some swatches against the um, newer um, this is milky gloss. I know that there has been some buzz about that um, about one of the shades being a dupe. So let's see if it is. Um, I have uh, cookies and milk on my um, on the left side in the middle. Of course, OG cinnamon roll. And on the last right side, um, I have Milk the Cocoa. So those are the shades swatched. And now we're going to go and compare the actual cinnamon roll shades. Um, so first we have the Intense Butter Gloss Cinnamon Roll, which is the second shade on my um, 
back of my hand. We're going to swatch the, the new um, cinnamon roll against that. Okay, so just to be clear, there will not be two uh, Nick Cinnamon Rolls. Uh, this fake, the fake Nick Cinnamon Roll shade will still remain on the line. It's now called Salty Cocoa. I saw that on the, um, on the uh, display that they had the Nick Cinnamon Roll. They had this as Nick Cinnamon, Cinnamon Roll, but it's actually now going to be called Salty Cocoa. So this no longer Cinnamon Roll, now it's called Salty Cocoa. Just had to point that out. All right, so I will swatch this uh, new return uh, Nick Cinnamon Roll to see what happens. All right, so I've swatched the um, return uh, Nick Cinnamon Roll. Let's put some more color to this. And this is it side by side with the OG. They're similar. They are very similar but I just don't think they're the same. Look at these shades. Note on, remember, this is a new one on the left. Middle shade is the OG cinnamon roll. On the right is the fake cinnamon roll. Note that the returned one is actually a little bit lighter. And that might be because um, this is um, an intense, uh, this is not the intense butter gloss formula. It's a butter gloss. Remember that the intense butter glosses were supposed to be a deeper, more pigmented version. So we could explain, we could say, hey, maybe that's what it was, but um, there is a difference. There is. I'm seeing a difference. There is ever so slightly a difference. Notice that, so on the left we have the um, return cinnamon roll, and on the right we have the OG um, intense butter gloss. Um, the returned one is just not as deep. Uh, it has that same cool tone brown. It's just not as deep. Um, so I believe that this one will probably apply more sheer to the lips. Uh, here it goes again. Again, this is the first one. This is the um, return cinnamon roll. The second one is the OG uh, intense butter gloss. And of course, this is, this is the fake bootleg one that he tried to trick us with. But we're, we're not going to talk about that right now. So yeah, there is a slight difference. There is definitely a slight difference. All right, as you can see on my fingers, um, the left finger has the uh, is the uh, returned um, Nick cinnamon roll, and the right, uh, the middle finger has the OG intense butter gloss. So as you can see here, it looks they're pretty close though. Um, I would definitely consider this a dupe, definitely more so than the. Um, the uh, milk the cocoa shade and the um but yeah so these are the shades okay so this is the return shade and this one is the og they're pretty close though but i would say the og is a little bit deeper it may just be more pigmented because again this was the intense bar gloss formula okay here we go All right, this concludes my video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a lot of things coming up next, so definitely stay tuned. Um, and definitely check out my Instagram, Beauty Body Pearl, where I will put the photos of the swatches. Uh, so thanks. Bye.